But I say to Congress, I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Therefore, as a matter of national security, I've signed this omnibus budget bill. There are a lot of things that I'm unhappy about in this bill. There are a lot of things that we shouldn't have had in this bill, but we were, in a sense, forced, if we want to build our military, we were forced to have. There are some things that we should have in the bill. But I say to Congress, I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Nobody read it. It's only hours old. Some people don't even know what it is. $1.3 trillion. It's the second largest ever. President Obama signed one that was actually larger, which I'm sure he wasn't too happy with either. But in this case, it became so big because we need to take care of our military. And because the Democrats, who don't believe in that, added things that they wanted in order to get their votes. We have to get rid of the filibuster rule. We have to get rid of the filibuster rule and go to 51 votes in the Senate if we're going to have really sustained, continued success. DACA recipients have been treated extremely badly by the Democrats. We wanted to include DACA. We wanted to have them in this bill. 800,000 people. And actually, it could even be more. And we wanted to include DACA in this bill. The Democrats would not do it. They would not do it. To prevent the omnibus situation from ever happening again, I'm calling on Congress to give me a line item veto for all government spending bills. And the Senate must end. They must end the filibuster rule and get down to work. We have to get a lot of great legislation approved. And without the filibuster rule, it'll happen just like magic.